really a pleasure for me to welcome uh, on behalf of the entire fellowship um, to this 86th annual meeting of the academy. Um, we are meeting under very strange circumstances. Uh, we can't see each other eye right to eye except on the computer screen. There is no shaking of hands and uh, this is really very strange. Um, and it's all because of an invisible bug, at least invisible to the naked eye. Um, we are unable to do a few things uh, as is customary during the annual meeting. Um, we are unable to uh, have our um, attendees, the fellows, fellows and the associates who are attending this meeting, um, provide self-introductions to the rest of the fellowship, uh, which is usually customary. Uh, we are unable to um, introduce uh, our newly inducted fellows, the fellows and associates who have been elected uh, recently and inducted into the academy. We usually introduce them. We are unable to do so. This year, we have inducted 32 new fellows and 25 associates. However, um, we will introduce them electronically, uh, and that will happen uh, immediately after I give my uh, lecture. Um, even though we have carried out our business uh, as as much um, as as is possible, it's not really been uh, the usual business. We have um, we have not been able to carry out a lot of business. One major meeting uh, has been taken by our summer fellowship program, and uh, the number of summer fellows that we usually um, support annually is about 2,000 of the order of 2,000, but this year we have been able to support only about 250, and these are students who are, uh, these are uh, fellows, uh, yeah, students who uh, were selected as summer fellows who are in the areas of mathematics, statistics, computer science, those who could uh, get guidance from their uh, supervisors sitting at home and carry out their project work. Uh, we've also taken a major meeting because our um, chair professors have not been able to visit us. We have um, either we had to, we've had to cancel their visits or we have had to postpone their visits. And their visits this year um, is going to be extremely. It seems like extremely unlikely. So we may have um, multiple visits by multiple chairs the next year, and we are hoping that uh, we would be able to do that. Uh, we are at the same time, having said that there have been many, many such constraints, we are very happy to announce, and many of you have attended, that we were able to um, hold three centennial celebrations. Uh, one of Professor C. R. Rao, who turned uh, 100 uh, not so long ago, uh, days ago, and uh, then also of uh, Vikram Sarabhai and Satish Dhawan. Satish Dhawan was the most recent. The uh, talks that were delivered uh, in the CR Rao Memorial, in, in the CR Rao Centenary Celebration, uh, has been published as a special volume of the uh, Mathematical Journal that we published. Um, we were supposed to present uh, um, the second edition of the uh, Bird Flight written by Satish Dhawan during uh, the centennial celebrations of Satish Dhawan. We've been delayed a little bit. Um, so we are going to present to you uh, the second edition of uh, Bird Flight um, that's, that was written in the 19, published in 1990. As many of us know that uh, Professor Satish Dhawan, during his spare time, did a lot of bird watching in Sri Harikota uh, National um, Space Range and uh, eventually wrote a um, phenomenal book. It's not a very long book. It's a short book, but it's a phenomenal book on bird flight, and that has been, um, uh, the second edition has been uh, published, and enormous uh, efforts were put in by uh, two of our fellows, Jan Arakeri and Dipendra Gupta, who actually, uh, you know, did all of this. And um, I'm extremely happy to present to you uh, this book called The Bird Flight, which is the second edition. The second edition is not just a reproduction of the bird flight. It's actually an updated version, and there have been many updations. It's, first of all, more elaborate captions of many of the uh, figures and sections. There have been redrawing of some of the figures. Uh, there are many new figures that have been in, uh, inserted by uh, the, 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 the two people who actually were, um, were uh, essentially the 
um, uh, movers of this particular uh, second edition. Uh, there are interesting end notes because bird flight uh, or concerning bird flight, there have been many scientific uh, discoveries and observations that have been made subsequent to the publication of this book in 1990, the first edition. And those have been uh, also uh, collated and placed appropriately within the book as end notes. And so without tampering with the first edition, um, except for the updations and uh, updations of captions, etc., this book, there's been a lot of value addition, and we are all very grateful to uh, Professors Jayanta Rakhedi and uh, Dipendra Gupta, who actually have uh, done a phenomenal job in uh, bringing out this second edition. This second edition will be placed very shortly on our website, uh, and uh, uh, it will be freely downloadable to our fellows and uh, associates. Please do take a look. It's a phenomenal book. Many of um, uh, many of you may not actually have seen the first edition of the book. I've been privileged to see the first edition of the uh, of this book, and uh, it's it's just a, absolutely a phenomenal um, book. I uh, will end here by saying that uh, you know this this job that I'm doing, the task that I'm doing right now as the president of the academy. I would not be able to do this task without appropriate guidance of senior fellows of the academy. For example, uh, holding these centennial celebrations of stalwarts uh, would not have been possible single-handedly and without guidance of, of fellows who were contemporaries of um, uh, contemporaries or students of um, the professors whose uh, centenary celebrations we have just held. And I'm extremely grateful to. Um, I'm not naming any of them, but uh, I, I reach out to the senior fellows of the academy uh, from time to time, and especially to two of my predecessors who are always there to help me out, and I'm extremely grateful to them. Uh, my greatest uh, admiration and uh, gratitude goes to the secretariat. Uh, we meet every week, uh, uh, and we meet over telephone calls. These telephone calls sometimes last uh, an hour, two hours, etc., and that's how we transact business, and I'm extremely um, happy and uh, grateful to the Secretariat for uh, working as a team to move the Academy forward. Um, also, the staff of the Academy are extremely cooperative and extremely helpful, and I'm extremely grateful to them. Finally, I must say that uh, in recent times, there have been very many strictures uh, from the government without giving us much of a choice, which is actually impinging on the autonomous structure of our institution. Uh, we are in talking with DST such that some of these can be relaxed for our own institution, but uh, there is little hope. We are losing uh, autonomy, and that's not something that uh, is, is uh, really enjoyable to sit on, um, sit on the head, sit as the head of an organization and see uh, erosion of autonomy, what is an autonomous institution. But there is hardly anything that we can do. We have been trying our best negotiating with um, the various officers of the um, of the DST of the Department of Science and Technology uh, that provide us with funding, but uh, it's it's uh, I wouldn't say it's a losing battle, but it's not a very happy circumstance in, to be able to uh, you know uh, be told that we have to do this and we have to do that. I can understand regarding financial autonomy, but also uh, with respect to various other things, we are there is an erosion of autonomy that we are facing. But uh, again, I mean, this is, I don't want to end with a sad note that we are losing our autonomy. We are trying our very best to negotiate, and we hope that um, even though we may not be able to restore all of the autonomy, it will uh, remain uh, an autonomous institution, and we will be able to carry on our business, uh, what, we, what we actually stand for, promoting science and recognizing science and uh, promoting scientific temper. So we will um, be able to uh, hopefully be able to continue this, and uh, we seek your guidance and we seek your cooperation in doing so. Thank you very much. I'm very happy that uh, many, many of our fellows and associates have actually joined uh, this particular meeting, and we hope we look forward to a vibrant two and a half day meeting. As Renee pointed out, that we have a fantastic program lined up, and this kudos to um, uh, Renee, uh, Umesh, and, uh, and uh, Raghu. They have put together this program. And it's, we, we are looking forward to two and a half days of scientific feast. Um, and also, also, there is a cultural event this evening where all of us uh, would enjoy that particular. It's, a, it's an offbeat event, and uh, we would uh, enjoy do, you know, watching that. Uh, particular, even though it's pre-recorded, we would enjoy watching that. 
Thank you very much. Uh, I uh, greatly appreciate your uh, attending this uh, annual meeting, and uh, I will move forward to uh, giving a uh, giving a lecture on what I have been recently I've been doing recently in terms of science.